welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today I have a motivational video for you to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Now earlier this week I accomplished something that I didn't think I'd be able to do for a very long time. I actually ran for 11 minutes and 20 seconds straight, which is massive for me because you guys know that I'm not a runner. Um, I haven't actually been able to run that distance since 2010. That's when I ran 10 Ks in England and it's absolutely amazing. I realized that I really love running when I'm fit and I really hate it when I'm not. And so getting to that level of fitness was very quick for me. And I realized that it was all in my head. It was all mental strength. When I got to the beach, I was like, right, I'm running from here all the way down to the end of the beach near this rock, which was as far as you can run on the beach when the tide is in. And I was like, okay, I'll just run to the second life um, lifeguard tower. I was running through the first one. I was like, oh yeah, I can do this. Yep, this is going well. Got to the second one. I was like, holy moly, what is happening here? And I was like, you know what? I can keep running. And I got to the end and I could have ran further, but I was like, okay, I need to be able to pace myself so then that by the end of like next week or the week after, I would be able to run there and back which is amazing for me because you guys know that I'm training for this mini triathlon, but my swimming hasn't really been evident lately. And you would have realized I finally got back on the bike after my anxiety um, when you saw my vlog last Tuesday. And it's really incredible, the power of the mind. And it really took me back and I was like, I can do anything, anything. And as I was running, I was saying, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. Because um, my friend Joe was telling me about um, this affirmation. I think Tony Robbins was telling his clients, he was just saying, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. And I say that to myself all the time, in particular when I'm in situations where I know I need to push myself a little bit further. And and the crazy thing is, is that morning I actually wasn't going to run. And I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just stay home and I'll do yoga because I'm pretty sore from working out yesterday and blah, blah, blah. Because Peter killed me in his last um, reform Pilates class. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I will, you know, I'll just walk at the beach. And I got to the beach and I was kind of determined. I was like, well, I didn't just get out of bed and drive 10 minutes for no reason. I'm going to flip and run. You know, so I've done it once and this afternoon my friend Shana and I are going to do it again because I messaged her. I was like, do you believe I just did this? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so Shana and I are kind of like getting fit together, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that wherever you are on your journey to become your greatest version, you can do whatever you need to do or you want to do or where you envision yourself to be. I have every faith that you're going to get there. It's all in your head. It's incredible to think about how limiting our mind is when we're in a negative state and we're not in the vortex of abundance and creativity and fitness and love. And oh, it's just, it really blew me away. Um, Cause this triathlon is next month and I was like, I've done bugger all training, but I'm like, I can do this. And I messaged my mom, check out the message that my mom wrote back to me. She was like, oh my God, you're like the fittest member of the Harold family. I was like, yes, I am. I was like, I'm the fittest member of the family. Yes. And um, it, it just made me feel really, really good. So if you guys can comment below, let me know what some of the things that you have pushed through recently that you are truly proud about. I would love to hear from them. Let's start the comment section feeling it with positivity. And I would love for each and every one of you to encourage whoever's comments that you're reading. Because I know you read each other's comments. There's always like an extra couple of thumbs up on different people's comments. So read the comment section. You know, it can be tiny. It could be like, today, Mel, I ate cruciferous vegetables. Um, or it could be something like, today, I made myself a priority. Or it could be, I listened to um, your 45 minute meditation before I went to bed. It can be whatever you want. If you are bettering yourself, then I want to hear about it. 
Oh, it's such, it's so beautiful to be able to do that. And I'm thinking, I'm like, imagine what else I can do. I think I was inspired from Peter because he, um, he walked slash ran 76 kilometers as a part of the Kokoda challenge. And it took him 20 hours. And I was like, if he can do that, then I can run just a little bit, you know, a little bit, 11 minutes, 20. That's massive for me. That's like him running a marathon, you know, but it's, we all have to start somewhere. So I don't think we should become overwhelmed. You guys know I'm the queen of being overwhelmed. That's why I need to break things down into small, manageable daily tasks. That's why I plan out my week. That's why I make an effort to go to the beach to better myself because that helps my mental state. You know, I don't exercise, um, excuse me, I don't exercise to be able to say, guess what I did today, everyone? I exercise to keep myself sane um, because I'm noticing that when I exercise, I'm more productive and I'm a nicer partner. I'm like a nicer daughter. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm a better person for it. So I'm just really proud of myself and I wanted to share it with you because I know you guys would be like, oh my God, mum, that's amazing. So let's celebrate each other. Comment below. Let me know what you're doing today and I can't wait to hear from you. I just wanted to remind you that I'm so proud of you, of wherever you are in your journey, you are exactly where you need to be. And I can't wait to hear about where you're gonna be in like a year from now. Cause I'm thinking back, I'm like, oh, if I can run 11 minutes and 20 seconds now, imagine what Mel in a year from now, in a year from now is going to be able to do. I'll be running marathons. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Fitness was never really on my radar for like the longest time. But then I was like, I don't know. I felt like once I mastered food, then I mastered self love. And now I'm mastering fitness. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Anyway. Um, yeah. Just wanted to remind you, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, continue to make better choices. If you are new to the Melanie Kate Love fam, I was going to say Ron Irishman fam, oh, MK Love fam, please subscribe. Every Tuesday to Friday at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, I release videos for you. So if you're in America, they'll be waiting for you as soon as you wake up. And I don't want to go, but I should go. But I'm like... I didn't have anything else to say. Anyway, I'm going to leave you because I know you've got lots and lots of things to do. Make sure you break through the mental barriers. Comment below. Like this video. Share with any of your friends that need some inspiration. And I will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. I love you. I love you. I love you. So sulforaphane prevents DNA damage, metastatic cancers, activates defense against pathogens and pollutants, prevents lymphoma, boosts liver detox and enzymes which target breast cancer cells, reduces risks of prostate, prostate cancer progress, protects brain, your eyesight, reduces nasal allergy, inflammation, it helps to manage type 2 diabetes and treat autism.